Now the ever increasing prices we're finding the cost of living going up at a drastic rate from energy bills to fuel prices even very down to the food we eat but not to worry we're on the job so in this video we're going to be going through tips tricks and hacks to live well for less my name is Toba and welcome back to the hack Now in this series, we'll be covering everything you need to live well for less. From food to clothes, to travel, to money management, to lifestyle, even activities. Starting with day one, eating well for less. Let's go. Now to eat well for less, you need to know a few things. One, where to shop. Two, the best value for your buck. And three, how to make use of discounts and promotions around. So how are we gonna do this? First, we'll be comparing 10 food products in five of the UK's cheapest supermarkets. Lidl, Aldi, Asda, Sainsbury's, Ocado, Tesco. What shopping items? Milk, bread, eggs, cereal, pasta, baked beans, fruits, vegetables, orange juice and biscuit. Then we'll be comparing the branded versus unbranded products to figure out the best value for your buck. We've done the research, now let's analyze. So we'll start with the table. We'll put our 10 products in. Then we'll put our five supermarkets in. Now for our first product, milk. The cheapest I could find in Lidl was 55 pence for soya unsweetened. Happy days, I'm happy with that. That's where I shop, that's where I get my soya milk. That's the cheapest you can find there, I'm great. The next one, Aldi also 55 pence for unsweetened now for semi skimmed milk is 65 pence now asda also 55 pence for soy milk unsweetened but now for skimmed milk you get a whopping 95 pence that's 35 pence more this is this is the price for the one you're buying it's not 120 it's actually 95 pence yeah <laughs> Report them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're on to Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's has just got out of the park. With soy milk, it's one pound. And for semi-skimmed milk, would cost you 95 pence. Now I looked online at Ocado, and the cheapest milk I could find was one pound 40 for the same amount that the other supermarkets had. I found other ones for one pound 35, but they were a smaller gram. So we're gonna to stick to one pound 40 for Ocado. I was looking on my phone, so there may be some discrepancies. This discrepancies, <laughs> mouthful. On to the next one, bread. Everyone loves a loaf of bread. Now the cheapest I could find at Lidl was 36 pence. Lovely price, happy with that. Cheapest at Aldi, also 36 pence. Cheapest at Asda was 70 pence. Sainsbury's coming in at 36 pence and then Ocado cheapest I could find was 60 pence third on the list eggs now I don't eat eggs personally but I know a lot of people do so we've got the prices for you now I wasn't sure what type of eggs to buy but whilst I was looking I saw a fellow shopper looking for eggs and I saw him go for a specific type of eggs free range now I thought now that's a bit expensive than these packet of eggs excuse me yeah can I ask you something uh yeah so you've just gone for those eggs mm -hmm. for two pound. Uh, yeah. Can I ask why you didn't go for that one? Uh, free range, I guess. That's probably the only, the only reason. Free range. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Fair, enough. fair enough. Thank you so much. So I guess free range is what the public wants. So you looked for free range eggs and they were 95 pence for medium free range eggs. Now at Aldi, free range eggs are 89 pence. At Asda, 95 pence. At Sainsbury's, 
one pound and at Ocado, one pound 40. Hmm, interesting prices, but we're slowly getting through it. Next up, cereal. Now I was looking at the types of cereal to go for and I ended up going for Honey Hoops, which was 85 pence. At Aldi, same price, 85 pence, also called Honey Hoops. At Asda, one pound 60, but that was slightly bigger. That was for 565 grams. At Sainsbury's, I couldn't find Honey Hoops, but I found multi-grain Cheerios or multi-grain hoops for one pound 10. At Ocado, the cheapest I could find was one pound. Four Cheerios, couldn't find Honey Hoops or the cheap alternative to Cheerios. Pasta, they say you don't feel the bad as pasta, but hey, I love a good pasta me. What type of pasta? Spaghetti. Cheapest spaghetti I could find in Lidl was 59 pence. The cheapest at Aldi was 20 pence. The cheapest at Asda was 23 pence. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, I see you went for that one, which is 75p. There's one over here for 23p. Would you have gone for that? Well, it's finished right. It's finished right now, but he's bringing some more. Probably. Would you? Okay, fair enough. The cheapest at Sainsbury's was 40 pence. The cheapest at Ocado was 80 pence. Our filming has been halted by the weather. And next up, baked beans. Who doesn't love a bit of beans on toast? Now for baked beans, the cheapest we could find at Lidl was 22 pence. Aldi, also 22 pence. At Asda, 25 pence. At Sainsbury's, 21 pence. That's the cheapest baked beans you can find so far. And at Ocado, 35 pence, which isn't too bad. Now fruits went for red grapes. And I was actually a bit surprised by the prices. I thought red grapes would be a bit cheaper. Um, at Lidl, the cheapest we could find was £1.59 for 500 grams. At Aldi, £1.49. At Asda, I think the cheapest with £1.09. pence. At Sainsbury's, £2. And at Ocado, coming in at £2. Next up, vegetables. At Lidl, 79 pence for frozen mixed veggies. At Aldi, 95 pence. At Asda, one pound. At Sainsbury's, 69 pence, which is the cheapest. And at Ocado, also one pound. Next up, oranges. I went for the two liters orange juice and the cheapest was one pound 35 at Lidl. The cheapest at Aldi was also one pound 35. As that was one pound 35. Sainsbury's one pound nine, but that was tropical, not orange juice. And at Ocado, the cheapest carton I could find was 95 pence. Biscuit. What type? Rich tea. The cheapest we could find at Lidl, 29 pence. The cheapest at Aldi, 29 pence. Asda, 35 pence, Sainsbury's 50 pence, and the cheapest at Ocado, 70 pence. And last but not least, ketchup, 89 pence at Lidl. At Aldi, 62 pence, which is a great price. At Asda, even cheaper with 42 pence. And at Sainsbury's, 44 pence. Ocado came in at a disgusting £1.87, <laughs> but that wasn't for the unbranded, I think that was for Heinz, but that was the cheapest I could find. All right, so we've done some calculations and we have our total. Now for those 10 products at Lidl, that will cost you £8.52. At Aldi, it will cost you £7.95, which is the cheapest so far. I'm very happy about that. The cheapest at Asda, £8.49, and the cheapest at Sainsbury's, £8.79. Ocado has just completely come out of this competition because their total is £12.07. But they do have the added bonus of having it delivered to you. Plus, when I went on the website, I saw a discount about order £60 worth of groceries and you get £20 off. So even that alone is saving you some money. Conclusion, Aldi is the cheapest all across the board. Now you know where to shop. Next, we want to compare the value for money. All right, let's crack on. <laughs> now we all love to eat out, but can't stand the effect it has on our wallets. And granted, I completely agree. 
So here's how you can make use of offers and discounts around you to eat out for less. Number one, websites. Websites like Money Saving Experts, Latest Free Stuff and The Hack can help you save money because they gather all the latest discounts around your city and offer it to you for free. Free vegan chicken, free veggie slices, and the list goes on. And now we're on our very own thehack.world. Now this isn't limited to food. This has the latest discounts and promotions on everything you can possibly think of. So there you go. Making use of websites like this and planning your eat outs according to the latest offers can help you save a lot of money. Tip number two, timing. Now there are seasonal offers and time specific offers like two for Tuesdays, tasty Thursdays, weekend offers and even quiet periods. The restaurant I'm in at the moment, Frankie and Benny's, this is a quiet period and this time they offer a very amazing deal which I am making use of. Now this is a lunch menu where you get three courses for £14.90. And now I'm going to calculate how much this meal would cost me if I came at a different time. So I've ordered the garlic pizza bread vegan for £4.50. That's the starter. For main, I've ordered Arabiata pasta and that's £10.30. And then for dessert, I've ordered the brownie and ice cream for £6.20. 21 pound this would have otherwise cost me how much am i paying for it 14 pound 90 because i'm here at a specific time where i can get the best discount that's a saving of six pound 10 pence and trust me it adds up And last but not least, mobile apps and club cards. So mobile apps like Karma, Too Good To Go and Olio give you a chance to rescue foods for a fraction of the price. So a magic bag worth about £10, you get to rescue for about £3.50. Club cards like Taste Card and Gourmet Society also give you access to loads of restaurants around the city offering amazing discounts like 50% off 40% off, two for one, and tons and tons of other offers. And there you have it. So with all these useful tips and hacks, you should be able to save a lot of money and eat well for less. My name is Toba, and that was The Hack. See you in the next one.